Good morning. These are your Connected in Christ announcements for the week. Golden Age Fellowship. The Golden Age Ministry will meet on the second Tuesday, August 8th at 11 o'clock a.m. in the E.L. Hayes Fellowship Hall. Please join us. Lunch to be served. Thank you, Sister Gloria Abel. Family Reunion Fellowship next weekend. It's here this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, August 11th through 13th. Come out, everybody, and let's have a great time together. Pitmasters, out of concern for your health and safety in this hot season, you may either grill or smoke on site or bring a pan. Guadalupe District Association. The Guadalupe District Missionary Baptist Association and College Incorporated will celebrate 150 years of God's grace on Tuesday through Thursday, August 8th through 10th, 7 o'clock p.m. nightly. On Thursday night, moderator L.A. Williams Jr. will step down after 17 years of faithful leadership, the longest tenure in the history of our district. Members from registered churches present will elect our new moderator. You must be present to vote. Personal enrollment is free. Bible studies this week. Tuesday night, faith works, no class for district support. Wednesday morning, Bible power hour, no class for district support. Wednesday night, Bible happy hour, no class for district support. Sunday school books. The church is ordering Sunday school books in bulk, large and extra large print. Upon arrival, students can purchase at 50% of what the church paid. First come, first served. No sign up required. Clothing drive update. Thanks to all who have contributed to the clothing drive sponsored by the young adult women. We are still accepting your sharp garments, so please keep them coming until August 11th. We also need volunteers to help sort the clothes on August 18th at 10 o'clock a.m. Spiritual PPE. But immediately Jesus spoke to them saying, be of good cheer, it is I, do not be afraid. Matthew 14 and 27, New King James Version. These have been your announcements for the week. Let us govern ourselves accordingly.
Right. This morning's scripture will be coming from the 53rd chapter of Isaiah. The 53rd chapter of Isaiah. Right. And I will be reading the first through the 12th of the 53rd chapter of Isaiah. Who has believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He has no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrow, and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs mm -hmm. and carried our sorrow. Yes. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. Yes. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone straight. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He has brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shears is done. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the weak, and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his land. He shall see of the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquity. Amen. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Let us pray. Father, as we come to you, we we come looking up to the hills from which come as our help. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. Father, as we think of you, we think of the good shepherd. Oh, yes. We think, as John said, the Lamb of God, which takes away the sins of the world. Yes. Father, we, we think of you as the rock. Yes. Father, we, we think of you as the Alpha and the Omega. Yes, 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 yes. Father, words just fall short as we try to describe who you are and what you've done in our lives. Yes. Father, we thank you that you came, thank Father, you. And, and you gave us salvation. Father, we, we, we thank you that you came and you, you placed us in the body of Christ. Yes. Father, as you, get, as you came and you gave us salvation and you placed us in the body, Father, yes. you gave spiritual gifts yes. unto yes. men, women, boys, and girls. Yes. Yes. And Father, you told us to use these gifts for the edification of yes. the church. Yes. Yes. Father, words just fall short, Lord, of what you've done for us. Yes. Father, you've given us a song to sing. Yes. Father, you've given us scripture to read. Yes. Father, you've given us a reason, Father. A reason, yes. Father, to praise your name. Yes. Father, we thank you and thank you for being reminded of our four parents and what they had to go through and how they endured, Father, but they believed on you. Yes. And because of their belief, oh. it just lifted us, yes. uh, lift, lifted us a little bit higher. Yes. Father, we stand on their shoulders. Yes. Father, we stand on the yes. prayers that they have prayed for their grandchildren yes. and their children yes. to be, have a blessed life. Yes. 
Father, we pray for this service right now. Yes. And Father, we pray for the we pray for the songs that are we pray for the scriptures that are read, Father. We pray for the preach word. Yes, yes. yes. And Father, we pray that we can glorify your name and all that you do. Yes. And all that you You've given us. Yes. Because, Father, if we had a thousand tongues, we couldn't tell. We couldn't tell at all that you've done for us. Father, we pray that you would forgive us. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Father, maybe when we go in our, in our uh, prayer closet, Father, that we would confess sins, commission, and omission. And, Father, help us to delve into your word. Yes. Father, the Bible says, you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Yes. Yes. And, Father, may you, you, you present us, Father, as faultless, Father, before the throne. Yes. Father, we thank you for thank this you. past. Thank we you. thank you for this congregation. Thank we thank you for the hunger that it has. Yes. In Jesus' name, Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.
Church will host our church family reunion on August 11th through the 13th. Amen. On Friday, we will start with a meet and greet. This is for former members or members who have not um, actually met our pastor. So we will have a meet and greet at 7 o'clock uh, p.m. Then on Saturday, August the 12th, we will have our fun, our family fun day. Uh, on this day, um, on this day, there will be food, mm -hmm. games for all ages. I would call some names, but I'll leave that for you. <laughs> <laughs> we will also have a barbecue cook-off mm -hmm. contest. Uh, what do you call them? Pit masters? <laughs> <laughs> our pit master contest. Okay. We have our barbecue uh, contest. We will have cake, a cake contest. So you have your favorite cake you want to donate to put in the contest, please bring it. We will also have our pie contest and peach pop. So if you want to enter into the contest with one of those um, dishes or barbecue, whatever, please feel free to um, bring it and there's a sign-up sheet that you can put your name down and what you're going to bring. Amen. On August 13th will be our Sunday morning worship. Uh, this is left up to our pastor, of course, but we're thinking that maybe a minister who was here, a former minister, uh, will uh, be bringing the message on that Sunday morning. Um, of course, it's with the approval of our pastor. So if you have not signed up, Brother Swindell has created the most beautiful poster out front. Please sign up today so that we'll know how many people are coming and that determines the amount of food that we can prepare, we have to prepare. So please sign up. Um, registration will end on August 6th. So that's the last day to sign up. If you know someone who's a former member, they haven't signed up, please encourage them to do so. Thank you so much, and God bless you, and I pray that this will be a success because we're doing it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. All right, what Sister Outland um, did not mention is that we are looking for um, some assistance with some of the dishes, and the one that we're specifically looking for is people that will make macaroni and cheese. We've covered some of the other dishes, but we need someone that's, that can really grill and really can uh, throw down on some mac and cheese. If you would let us know, we would really appreciate it. Okay? And uh, on the desserts, we're looking for more desserts. So if you're not even interested in participating in the contest, we still would like for you to bring some of those items. And if you have any questions, please, your, uh, Sister Alan and myself are the leaders. Uh, our ministry, the ministers of Ethan's wives, is the, the host. And we just uh, ask, is there anything, if you know of some member that we may not have reached out to, please let them know and ask them to call the church so that we can know who they are and we can go ahead and put them on so that we can prepare for everyone that's going to be joining us. Amen. 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 Listen, listen, listen. Some things you all not hold to yourself. I, I, I streamed out this morning, messed through the Haywood all up. Hey, man, he, he just walked out of church. He's going to kick me out. <laughs> Took back the right hand of fellowship. <laughs> Y'all, I, I don't want to hold you long. Let me just say this. <laughs> Deacon James Landrum, come stand right here, brother. Your face, face, <laughs> yes, sir. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on man. Face them. Ah. This brother. This brother. That's it. That's it. After X number of years of graduating from high school, has officially been elected to their high school hall of fame. Man, you're awesome. Yes, you made me scream this morning with joy. Yes, God be the glory. 
Or just stand by and hold somebody's hand. Maybe the person's hand you hold it may not know that they can go to God and tell them all about their troubles. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, has he not been good to you? Have God not been good? Oh, he woke you up this morning. Oh, he started you on your way. He brought you to his house to give him praises and to give him wishes. Our Father and our God, the giver of every good and perfect gift. We come to you now. First of all, Father God, just asking for forgiveness of our sin. Whether they sins of omission, of sins of commission. For you have said in your word that we all have sinned and come short of your glory. Father, we just stop by and say thank you. Thank you for your many, many blessings that you have bestowed upon us. From the early existence of our cradle up until this present moment, we just say thank you. Father God, we just come this morning to lift up your holy and your righteous name. But Father God, we know that your word to be praised. And we thank you right now. Father God, we know we're not so deserving of your goodness and your kindness and your mercy. But Father God, we thank you for your amazing grace. Father God, we thank you for your mercy. And Father God, we just come to give you the glory that you rightfully deserve. And Father, as we stand around your altar, as we stand in your house, as we sit in your house, Father God, we just ask that you look down upon us from heaven. Smile upon us, Father God, that only you can do. Father God, whatever may be troubling in our lives, oh Lord, we just ask that you just remove it right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, we want to thank you for our last night's slumber. Oh Lord, we slept and slumbered in the present image of death. But Father God, you touched us with a touch of love this morning. Our eyes open to witness a brand new day. And we just stop by and say thank you. Oh, just thank you, Lord Jesus. And Father God, we just ask that you look down upon our sick and shut in this morning. Oh, Father God, bless them with the blessing that you see they stand in need of. Father God, we realize that just a touch from the Master's hand will make everything all right. And Father God, we ask that you look down upon our children this morning. Oh God, bless them as only you can. Father God, ask that you regulate their minds this morning. Father God, give them that bitch and the look to heaven for all of their assistance. Father God, all of their worries and concerns. Father God, that they can look to the hill for which cometh their help. Lord, all their help in heaven and earth comes from you. And Father God, we just ask that you look down upon family this morning. Lord, there's trouble everywhere. Father God, there's trouble in every household today. Father God, I just ask that you just touch. Father God, straighten out the situation in our lives. Father God, you, I don't know what nobody's going through this morning. But Lord God, I know that you know what everyone is going through. And Father God, I just ask if this is your divine will. Father God, that you just intervene in some trouble home this morning. 
Father God, just intervene in some families this morning. Father God, for we know that you are able to do all things but fail. And Father God, we just ask that you look down upon our pastor this morning. Lord God, strengthen him as only you can. Father God, touch him from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. Build him up where he may be told that. And Father God, I just ask that you give him a word from heaven. Father God, that may pierce our heart. Father God, that we can be bold enough to leave from this place. And go tell the dying world that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Father God, we just ask that you look down upon us. Allow your grace and your mercy to dwell between us. And Father God, I just ask that you take us, mold us, and have us to be what you want us to be. Father God, that we can walk right and do right in the sight of you. Father God, that some boy, some man, some woman may see a light shining from us. Want to know what it is that's different about you. And let them know, Father God, that there is a God that sits on high. There is a God that's still in the saving business. There is a God that will turn their life around and lead them to the right direction. And we just give it all back to you this morning. For Father, you're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy of oh, all of our praises. And we just say thank you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and ask it all. Amen. Amen. And amen.
deeper into you, God. Thank you, God, for showing us a newness in you. Letting us know, Father, there's always more. There's always more. I love you, Lord. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory to your name. Oh, bless you, God. And bless your people this day. Hmm. Ah. song reminds you when you think you maxed out God. <laughs> Get ready. He has another place. <laughs> you, you won't find it. You won't find it uh, at a store. You won't find it even in your closet where your clothes are. The spiritual location, my brothers and sisters. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes you'll find it in your car. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 12, verse 16 says, New King James Version. Now Peter continued knocking. I don't want us to miss our shout today. Now Peter continued knocking, and when they opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. Uh -huh. <sighs> but motioning to them with his hand to keep silent, he declared to them how the Lord had brought him out. Oh, hey. mm. Yes, sir. I want you to miss your shout. Jesus. Of the prison. And he said, Go tell. I don't want you to miss your shot. Go tell these things to James and to the brethren. And he departed. I don't want you to miss your shot. And went to.
He departed. Yes, sir. And went to. Brothers and sisters, we must learn to value our prayer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't take your prayer for granted. Lord Jesus. And don't underestimate the power in your prayer. All right. All right. Take your shoes off. You Thank you, Lord. James teaches us in chapter 4, I believe it is, verse 3, that sometimes we can not get our prayers answered because we pray amiss. We're not praying right. We're praying wrong. We find ourselves in this text with a body of people praying. They're praying for Peter, uh -huh. who has been jailed. Mm -hmm. uh, Y'all know, may know the story, how he got out oh, yeah. at the hand of an angel. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Showing up, laid in the midnight hour. Y'all yeah. yeah. show up on you now, be careful. Yeah. He'll show up and answer your prayer. Take you to another place. Yes, this text is not about them praying amiss. They were praying right. But they did have an issue that we often have today. Uh, we're not out of order when we're praying. But we are void of expectation. All right. yeah. We're praying and asking God to do something. All right. But we somehow don't quite expect him Come on. to do it. All right, sir. Help us, help us. So when he does, Hold on. <laughs> it shakes us up a little bit. All right, sir. Shocks us. Thank you, Brother Landry. We have the mindset that I believe God came. There's no problem in believing that God came. And we believe that God will. But I'm shocked that he did. Why, why is that? Why, why is that? Why do we not expect God to deliver to his children? Why do you not expect him to answer your prayer? Why do you expect that the rest of your days will be where you are and not in
to value, value. your prayer. Right, right, sir. Rhoda saw that it was Peter. That's right, sir. And she went back and told him, Peter's at the door. You don't get away. You're crazy. <laughs> Peter's at the door. You see him the ghost. Peter's at the door. Your prayer is being answered. And the answer to your prayer is at the door. Some of us need to get that this morning. At the door of your heart is the answer to your prayer. Brothers and sisters, you got to answer the door. The only thing keeping you from the answer to the prayer is the door that you have control over. The door of your mind. The door of your heart. The door of your spirit. Why don't you answer? The door. Sometimes you are the answer to someone's prayer. Ricky Jones is gone. But Ricky Jones has a family. Some know God and some don't. But he has a cousin who knows the Lord. And God can use that cousin to minister to that family in such a time as this. The family is hurting. You've been knocking for a while. But nobody has been answering the door. If you are the answer to the prayer, I challenge you today to do like Peter did. Don't stop knocking. Keep on knocking. Even when they look at you and turn their backs, knock again. Even when they call you what you're not, knock again. Even when they don't believe you are who you say you are, knock again. Mm. When you are the answer, you have to have the mindset of Isaiah. Yes. Here I am, Lord. Send me. I'll go. God moved Peter from a cold, dark jail cell to the door of a bunch of praying believers. But the problem was they had an issue opening the door. Yes, and Peter, yes, the answer yes, is at the door. Yes, Hallelujah, somebody. Yes, the answer yes, is at the door. Yes, but like I said, when you are the answer, yes, don't stop knocking. Yes, you may have been back to your hometown yes, for it. Okay, here's a, here's a black word. 411 times. <laughs> and people have ignored you. But when you go back this time, knock on their hearts again. Because this may be the time that they open the door. Don't miss the text. He didn't open the door. She didn't open the door. The Bible says they opened the door. So Rhoda initially discovered who he was. But when it was time to move, it was a group that opened the door. A group that had been praying oh, for Peter to get released from jail. And now here he is. Peter standing at the door. God gave you a testimony, my brothers and sisters. When he moved you from the cold, dark dungeons of your life to the door of those that have been praying for you. Yeah, he gave you a testimony. And you ought not keep it to yourself. When they opened the door, they were astonished and amazed. They couldn't believe that it was Peter that was at the door that was now amongst them. But Peter said, shh, shh, shh. I don't 
need you to talk about what you see. I need you to hear what God has done for me. Come on, somebody. Let me don't miss your shout. Too often you want the attention on yourself. And it's not about you being released. It's about how God set you free. Oh boy, some shouts up in here. There's some shouts up in here. There's some shouts up in here. Amen. So God says, Peter, look at this thing. Jakes would say, watch this, watch this. Uh-huh. God sends Peter to the prayer. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then God, through Peter, sends the prayers uh-huh. to the leaders. All right, now. All right. Do y'all see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. When you pray, don't expect the answer always to come from the pulpit. Right, sir. Right. 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 God will send the message directly to you. Late in the midnight hour, wake up and answer the door of your heart. Answer the door of your mind. God will speak to you and then give you a place to carry. Now go tell pastor what I've done for you. Go tell pastor what I've shown you. Go tell pastor how good God is. Go tell pastor that you're a living testimony. Go tell pastor that you're a witness to his goodness. Go tell pastor that you know everything is going to be all right because God stopped by your house. Go tell pastor that God woke you up late in the midnight hour and gave you a word to share. Come on, somebody. Go tell the leaders. I'm sorry. The title to that point is Run and Tell That. Run, run, run and tell that. The one before that was knock knock. <laughs> knock knock. Yeah. Knock knock till the answer. Yeah. And now, now, brother, right, we're gonna run and tell that. Yeah. We wanna run and tell everything yeah. else. Yeah. But run and tell oh. what God is doing for your brother, oh. what God is doing for your sister, yeah. what God is showing un- unto you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And look at what he does. Uh-huh. Look at what he does. God dispatches him. Oh, no. Y'all know I ain't preaching on in this in this in this season. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. For specific reasons. Right. So I got to get you the message and get it quick. Right. Amen. Amen. Run and tell that. Right. Amen. Right. Prayers. Uh-huh. Go tell the leaders. Right. Leaders. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Spread the gospel. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And look at what God did to Peter. Uh-huh. You can't tell the leaders. Uh-huh. You're going uh-huh. to. Uh-huh. Oh, y'all ain't coming with me. You are going to. Uh-huh. Another place in here. You don't have to know where you're going. But you're going to look. If nowhere else spiritually, you're going to another level. Amen. You are now becoming the voice of God. You are becoming a stronger messenger of God. You're not looking for a title or a position, but you know that God is going to place you where he wants to place you, that you may be of value to him. And he says, tell James and my brother. Why James? Why not just go tell the brother? This is James, the brother of Jesus. And in Jerusalem by that time, James had been elevated by God. Come on, somebody, to kind of lead the pack. Amen, in the Jerusalem church. Yeah, 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 yeah. James was the one that God was using to make a difference in the lives of the people. He didn't have a specific title. He just had a divine purpose. Y'all don't hear me. He didn't have a specific title. He had a divine purpose. And the affirmation that he had a divine purpose is that God placed it on Peter, who had been incarcerated and had no way of knowing to tell him to go tell James. And 
and the brethren. Yeah. Yes, Jesus said, go tell the brethren uh -huh. and Peter. And because Peter felt like he was no longer a brother after he had denied Jesus three times. Yeah, yeah he, he had a failure issue. Uh -huh. But God restored him. Yeah. And now James yeah. has an elevated purpose. Uh -huh. And God reassures him. Uh -huh. Whatever you have uh -huh. that God wants to do with you, right. he will do it. Yeah. He's going to do it. Yeah. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Yeah. Don't be afraid right. to go to. <laughs> Come on, y'all scared up.
Thank you for waking me up, you're so Thank you for calling me up, you're so